my channel. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Today's video is going to be my fan fiction recap. My fan fiction readathon recap. I'm going to be talking about the fan fiction I read for the readathon. The readathon, the the fan fiction readathon was hosted was created by Jen from the Book Refuge and the other hosts for the readathon are Rachel from Rachel Read and Sings. Tiffany from TikTok's pages and Mel from Mel Vines Fix. Well, I only read two fan. I only read two fan fiction for the readathon. I'll put the graphic up here. The readathon started from. November 7th to November, November 1st to November 7th. So the first week of November. I, I only read two fan fiction because one was 700 something pages and the other one was 2,000 words. But if you don't know how to download fan fiction, you go to AO3, type whatever of the title, the fic is, you click EPUB, and then you open up your email address. Once that is done, you put the download into your email. But before you download everything, make sure you go to your Amazon and approve your mailing address before you send it to your Kindle. That's how you do it. So, the, the fix I read for the readathon were called The Wolf by Yokan and 77 Wishes by, by Su Sweet Bear, Sweet, um, Sweet Berries. I'll put my big my board up here. I got a blackout because I filled all the spots. I'll put the graphic up here. I read the wolf. It was a recommendation from from Mel by and Fix from Mel, and it is about a Klaus and K Caroline fanfic. It basically tells the story of the originals with Caroline as the main character. He, what, I, what I had a problem with the original is this. I didn't like the fact that Cl Klaus died in the show and he had no like main love interest. That was my problem in the show and I was such a Klaus and Car Caroline fan, but 
but nothing happened between them. So that's why I decided to read this book. By the way, this fanfic has no spice. They don't kiss until like the 86% mark of this fanfic. But what happens is Caroline gets kidnapped by two witches and they tell her she's pregnant with Klaus his baby and they want to use that to blackmail Klaus so Klaus can get rid of Marcel. It basically follows the original to a T except whatever was happening to Haley and happened to Caroline. I really liked it because I was an original fan, I was a Klaus fan, I really hated the ending of the originals, like why did he have to die? If you're a diehard, if you are a original fan and you wanted a better ending for Klaus, I highly recommend reading The Wolf by Yoklin. Um, I will definitely go on to part two of The Wolf, season two, because I heard it gets spicier in season two, but it, this reading this fanfic made my 20-something self. Very happy. Like, it gave, it, it brought me back to those days when I was watching the TV show. So if you, if, and they were my shipped couple, they were my broken scream couple. So, most of the wolf can fill up my TBR, my, my bingo board. But, that leaves me with two open spots for LGBTQ, and for that I read uh, 77 Wishes. It's a Draco and Harry fanfic, there's BDSM involved, Draco's wife died, and he, he's left with his kid, so it's single parents, they meet at a BDSM club, and they, and they start a dom and sub relationship, and Harry, becomes obsessed with Draco first and they fall in love, they get closer because of Draco's son. I liked the BDSM elements and I liked the fact that Harry was obsessed with Draco, but I want to be Moving on to book two, because there's M pregnant, and M preg is not my, my jam. If you like reading about that, to eat your own, but I won't be moving on for from for book two, but I really like the story. But yeah, it further on it just gets weird for me.
But that one is called 77 Wishes. And I forgot. And I forgot to tell you how the wolf ended. Basically, at the end of the story, Caroline gives birth and her and her baby girl got stolen. So in the second season, in, in the second chapter of the story, like the second part of the book, Klaus and Caroline are going to save their daughter and they, I think I mentioned they kissed at 86% of the book. But Elijah was very annoying to me at the end, and so was Klaus, because Klaus didn't really stop being annoying until, like, the later half of the book. But if you're a fan of Klaus and Caroline, if they were your ship, I highly recommend reading it. Those are all the, all the those are all the two books that I read for the readathon. Again, the wolf was seven hundred thirty something pages, and and the uh, and seventy seven wishes were like two thousand something. So that's why I only got to two fanfic. Those are all the thin those are all the books that I those are all the fanfics I read for the readathon. I really had a good time. Now that I know how to download it on my Kindle, I'll be downloading more. Please, I would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know down below what fanfics have you read that are good, that sounds good to you. Please give me some recommendations. I'll see you next time. Bye!